Hey, this is Jesse Tula for BenchFrame.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going through how to install and use Move Anchor Point. Now, this is for Move Anchor Point in version 2. I've recently added some new features that I think should be pretty useful. So, when you download Move Anchor Point from the website, you're going to get a zip file with three different items inside. It's going to have a MAP images folder, the script itself, and a README. What you want to do is take that images folder and the Move Anchor Point script and put them both into the script UI panels folder. If this is the first script UI panel you've installed, just verify that the script UI panels folder is spelled and capitalized correctly. If it's not, After Effects isn't going to recognize these as script UI panels. So just, just verify that it's spelled as you see it here. Once that's in, you want to restart After Effects. If After Effects was open when it was installed, it's not going to show up in the window menu. So once you restart After Effects, you're going to go to Window and down to the bottom and you'll see the script. So here's the interface. Uh, this is a dockable panel, so if you wanted to, you could put this anywhere you want. But for now, I'm just going to leave this undocked, and we'll run it like this. So I'm just going to create a new composition, and we'll just create a new solid. Let me get the comp size just so we can see the basic features. So move anchor point still works just as it used to. Uh, obviously, you can see there's some new elements here. But the basics uh, are these nine different buttons, which allow you to quickly move the anchor point to one of nine different spots, uh, each of the corners and the center, and then the center points of each side. So you can see the anchor point right now is in the very center. If I hit this button, the anchor point's moved over to here. It's moved to the top corner, and so you can move it anywhere and then back to the center. So that's the basics. Um, let me create a new solid. And we'll make this just 200 by 200. And I'll create some duplicates. And we'll make these all 3D just so it's easier to see where the anchor point is. And I'm going to select all of these at the same time and click a button. And you can see that it moves all four of the anchor points to the desired location. Um, and this works even if there is animation on the layer. So if I keyframe the position for this, and I change it. You can see that the uh, position keyframes were moved, but the layer itself stayed the same. So if I hide the rest of these and change it again, you can see that the position of the layer itself is remaining the same, um, just the path is changing. So that's that. It also works with expressions. So if I just put a little expression on here, you can see now the layer is moving around, and if I change the anchor point, the layer stays where it is. Um, what else? So we have this new section over here, which allows you to put in a custom point. And so the way this works is you think of the layer as the top left corner as being point zero zero, and the bottom right corner is one one. So basically, what we're putting in is percentages for an x and a y coordinate. So let's let's create a new layer that's a little bit bigger. And we'll make it 3D just so it's easier to see that anchor point. And let's say that I wanted to move it 3 quarters of the way across and 3 quarters of the way down. What I can do is put in 0.75 and 0.75 and move to custom point. And you can see that layer moves to exactly where I wanted it to. Uh, you can also put in fractions up here. And it will stay in the same place. Obviously, that didn't show very much. But if I put in 1 over 4... 1 over 4, we can move it to the opposite point. Um, you can also put in points that are greater than uh, 1 or less than 0, and it will move the anchor point to outside the layer. So if I put in, say, negative 2 and negative 2, you can see the anchor point has been moved way out here. So if you wanted to move it to a specific point outside the layer, you can do that, and you can also move to any precise point within your layer. Uh, then the last thing we have is this ignore masks checkbox. Um, and basically, it does exactly what it says. So let me create a new layer, and we'll just make it the same size as the composition. And I'm going to add a mask. So you can see that right now the anchor point is a little bit off-center. If we wanted to move it directly to the center of this mask, just hit the button, and you can see it moves right to the center. 
Now, if we wanted to use the layer as a whole uh, and disregard the masks, all you have to do is click this Ignore Masks button, move it back, and you can see it moves back to its original spot or out to any of the points on the layer. Uncheck it, and it will stay within that mask. Um, masks that have the uh, mode set to None will automatically be ignored. And if you have multiple masks applied, it's going to uh, create an average of the two, so it'll put it between uh, the two masks. So you can see there the bounding box and the anchor point was moved to the center of that bounding box. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for version 2. There's been some other uh, small bug fixes with uh, the scales of layers and parenting. Um, if you have any issues or any questions or comments, uh, feel free to send me an email at contact at batchframe.com or using the help desk um, at batchframe.com. If you're interested in learning more about scripts and you want to see how this is done, uh, Move Anchor Point is actually open source. If you just want to go ahead and open up the script file, you can see exactly how everything's done. I've gone through and made comments just to kind of explain what I'm doing. So if you want to learn, uh, that's a good way to do it. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the script, and I'll see you in the next one.